Celine Dion is no stranger to pain and tragedy, and the same could be said of her eldest son, Rene Charles. On January 25th, 2001, singing legend Celine Dion became a mom when her oldest son, Rene Charles Angelil, was born. He was named after his father, Dion's husband, Rene Angelil. The couple had previously dealt with fertility issues, and Dion was elated by her son's birth. She told Oprah in 2002, He's a miracle baby for us. It's a dream come true in many ways. I will never be the same person anymore. When Rene Charles was growing up, Dion was a hands-on mom, and she spent time reading and playing with him. On occasion, he got to watch his mom sing live. While this sounds like a pretty awesome childhood, Rene Charles has also had his share of hardship. He was so inspired by his mom's music career that he decided to create his own songs when he was 17. Unbeknownst to Dion, Rene Charles released his rap tunes on SoundCloud in 2018. He was deliberately secretive because he wanted to succeed on his own merits. Unfortunately, while two of the five songs charted at number one and number two, he got blasted by listeners for using autotune. While speaking to the Montreal Gazette in 2018 about his music, Rene Charles noted that all of his lyrics are very personal. To that end, one of his songs, Catwalks, has the line, I ran out of tears when I was 16. Sadly, in 2016, just 11 days before he turned 15, Rene Charles' father died following a diagnosis of throat cancer. At his dad's funeral, Rene Charles took on the responsibility of delivering a eulogy and he made his poignant speech before a packed crowd. Rene Charles said in the eulogy, You left me now with enough good memories of you to share with my younger brothers. Sadly, his twin brothers, Nelson and Eddie, were five at the time. While Rene Charles also vowed to his dad the family would live up to his standards, Dion has emphasized compassion as she and her children have grieved together. She explained to Extra when Rene Charles was 16. I never want him to feel the pressure that he's the man of the house. Mm. No, you have your own dreams. In December 2022, Dion revealed she had been suffering from long-standing health issues, which led to her diagnosis of an autoimmune neurological condition called stiff person syndrome. In addition to giving this candid explanation of her health challenges, she was equally open in her documentary, I Am Celine Dion. She even watched a particularly harrowing scene where she's having a seizure with her twins, using it as a tool to better explain her medical condition to them. Since Rene Charles is nine years older than his brothers, he's been playing a visible role supporting his mom. My kids are scared because they lost their dad. They're wondering if, they, if I'm gonna die. 2024 has proven to be a big year for Dion. In addition to her show-stopping performance at the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics, she was also presented with an award at the Grammys. Rene Charles walked on stage with Dion when she accepted the award. A few months later, he joined her at the premiere of her documentary. Rene Charles stood close by while his mom made a speech. As she spoke, Dion acknowledged her kids, saying, I wouldn't be here without the daily love and support from my wonderful children. As she mentioned Rene Charles by name, Dion looked to the side offstage and spoke to him directly. When Dion became teary as she thanked her fans, Rene Charles thoughtfully stepped over to his mom's side and nudged her gently so she would see he had a tissue for her. She thanked him with a kiss before he returned to the wings where he had been standing. 